Hey guys, and a very warm welcome back to What's For Tea, and I hope that I find you all very well indeed, and you're having a fantastic day so far. So a couple of days ago, I asked what you'd rather see next. The three options were a slow cooker beef curry, a slow cooker beef stew, and a slow cooker beef chilli. And most of you actually chose to see the slow cooker beef stew and that's what I'm going to be showing you today guys. This is absolutely delicious, it's so simple to make and it's just a one pot dish. Everything just gets thrown into the slow cooker, you walk away and come back <laughs> and it's already cooked and you know ready to go so it couldn't be any easier. This is going to serve five people but you know if you're cooking for less or more, you can just vary, you know, the ingredients to suit yourself. But like I say, this is going to serve five people very generously. So this is what you're going to need if you want to follow along with this particular recipe. First of all, you're going to need three or four rashers of smoked back bacon. Now, you just want to go ahead and trim off any visible fat and then sort of cut it into strips. You'll also need 200 grams of diced turnip, 200 grams of diced carrots, 700 grams of lean diced beef, a quarter of a pint of red wine, three quarters of a pint of beef stock, half a kilo of baby new potatoes sliced through the middle. You'll need one large onion diced, 200 grams of chopped tomato and you'll also need or you might not need actually but you might need a teaspoon of corn flour you know dissolved into some um, cold water but you might not need that guys that's just if your gravy is a wee bit watery near the end but if it's thick enough you know then you won't need it right so let's go over to the cooker and we'll see what we do next the first thing you want to do is get your slow cooker onto high and pop your stock and your wine in And just go ahead and pop half of your beef in. And then to that, you just want to pop your bacon in. Like I say, just make sure that you trim off any of the visible fat, because you don't want to be chewing into any sort of bacon fat. That wouldn't be very nice. And then just go ahead and pop your carrots, your turnip and your onions in followed by your potatoes, or some of your potatoes, and then your tomatoes, and some more of your beef, and then top your remaining potatoes and carrots and turnip. And I forgot to mention guys, I'm also going to put on a teaspoon of thyme on the top, but you don't have to do that, that's optional. I actually nearly forgot about it. <laughs> oh dear. It just gives it a nice flavour. But like I say, you don't have to use thyme if you don't want to. Now you just want to pop this on high um, for four or five hours. Or if you've got more time and you've got lots to do, you can put it on low for up to ten hours. So it really, you know, it depends on how much time you've got. I was kind of pushed for time today, so I started at half past twelve and it was ready at half past five. So this is about three hours into cooking. And you just want to come back, if you can, I mean, you don't have to be in for this because, you know, nothing's going to happen to it. Nothing's going to evaporate. So you really can just walk away and forget about it. But if I'm in, I just like to pop back and you know, give it a wee stir once in a while. And this is at half past four, and as you can see, it's getting a lot thicker. Now, if at this stage, guys, you find that your gravy isn't as thick as this, and it's quite watery, you can go ahead and pop your corn flour in. Just mix a teaspoon of corn flour or cornstarch with some water, mix it into a paste, and mix it in at this stage. And it'll be lovely and thick at the end, but like I said, I didn't actually need it this time, but sometimes I do. But I don't always use as much beef as this either, because I normally only cook for four people, but there was an extra person today, so I've used more beef, so that's probably why I didn't need to use any cornstarch. So this is meat half past five, and this is it done. It's lovely and thick, the potatoes are lovely and tender, the root vegetables are lovely and soft, and this is good to go. So all you have to do now is plate it up. And I've just made this with some broccoli, cauliflower, and sliced carrots. So that's the stew some potatoes and some extra stew on the side. 
and it's absolutely delicious and smelt fantastic. It's just one of those things that you, you know you really do appreciate when you're coming up to the colder weather, especially in this country, it gets very cold. And it's just so comforting and, you know, warming and, oh, just delicious. <laughs> so thank you very much again, guys, for popping over and seeing what is going on. And thank you to everyone who took part in the poll, just to let me know what you want to see. Because I like to cook what you guys want to see at the end of the day. Because it's for you and it's, you know, I like to make what you actually want to see. So until next time, guys, take care of yourselves and uh, I'll see you then. So bye for now. Bye now.